Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. And I'm here today to uh, share with you the second half of my project uh, where I was using the uh, shabby hidden paper clip kit from My Porch Prints. And as if you saw the video before, I made several of the hidden paper clips. I made six and I used the uh, freebie of the scripture uh, on the, either the front or the back of each one. And instead of making six more of those, because I wanted to use all the scriptures, I went ahead and I decided to do something different. And um, what I did was, um, some time ago I saw where someone had taken a Rolodex like this and decorated the fronts of the little cards. And they had a whole bunch of them in there and they could just flip through all these pretty things. And this is this is just one that I did. And then I thought, well, what in the world am I gonna use that for? So I never did make any more. But I had the idea that these would be perfect um, to make some of these with the hidden paperclip kit uh, because I still had some, uh, the little tiny uh, ephemera and stuff to stick on there with the scriptures. So I've done five of those these and um, I'll show you what I did. Let's see. I'm going to put this somewhere in just a minute. Okay. So this is our card. And uh, what I did was um, select some papers. And I, I wanted to use some papers for the background. And, of course, this kit didn't have any larger pieces. So I used um, the sweet shabby rose papers from my porch prints if you want to look at that kit and maybe use those or use some other background papers that um of hers or uh, whatever that you have on hand for the background and so all i did was trace around this and then attach on the um the decorations so i think i'm going to do opposite this time i'm going to show you do the one that I have laid out here to do, and then I will show you the others that I made. So let me get this out here. So if you can see, I had just put this down on the paper and traced around it and cut it out. So this is ready then to glue on the front of this card. And everything is cut out of cardstock, uh, so you know. And I'm just gonna glue this on the front of the card. And I, I had a thought of a, a nifty way to use these. I mean, they'd be cool just to sit in this Rolodex and flip through there and look at them. But uh, what my plan is that I can use these uh, as pockets and inserts into journals. And um, the way that I did these, I made sure that I did not um, attach anything on the front that went down below where these hook in. And that way I could just slice that off and this would make a nice pocket or um, journal card inside the uh, a journal uh, because it will, on the back it'll have these lines to write on. So, and I did go, I did ink everything. So I'll go ahead and ink around this right quick. And you can just use this ephemera any way you want to. I just um, I had some different little ideas and I kind of have this laid out here. Let's see if I can remember so I can get it put on there for you. Um, I wanted this to go on first, kind of down here. And what I'll do is the scripture card will go in the center and we'll still see the bird in the cage. And the next thing I wanted is the um, scripture in the center. And I wanted this lace to be sticking out. So I'm gonna glue this lace on the back here. Just kind of tack it on here. So it sticks out the top. It's 
so this is going to go here and then um whoops I, i've got to ink it just a minute okay so that's going to stick out like that and then i have these roses And a little piece of cheesecloth to go up here and kind of just poke out from behind there. So let's see. I need to get the cheesecloth down first. And then I'll glue down these roses. They'll kind of stick up above it. Like that. And then we'll get our scripture glued down. Something like that. And I'm not going to press down that left side yet because what I want to do is uh, put this. cheesecloth in under here like this and then this is ripped out of one of the little paper pockets that I had already printed out uh, if you remember the um, these um, were designed with a little pocket and stuff down in the pocket and so I just took the pocket and ripped off the color, the paper that I wanted because I wanted these roses. So I'm gonna stick them in under there too. So that these roses show. Okay. And now uh, I have a butterfly to go down here at the bottom. So this one, we just have kind of a pink theme going. I was using my glue gun and it it's uh, cordless, so it had to be charged. So I'm having to do this without it. It goes a little easier with the glue gun when you have all these different layers and fabrics and stuff. But this will work. Okay, this is finished, except I want to put some stickles on there. I love to have some sparkles on the things that I make, um, especially the ones with the roses. And I usually just put it in the center of the roses and on the butterfly, sometimes on the wings also. Makes it sparkle and shine. And maybe a little dot in each corner here. Some more roses up here. Down here in the bird cage. Just little dots. So there we go. That one's finished. So we have this design so that we can cut this off if we want to, but it will fit inside our Rolodex. And it can be written on the back. My dog has seen someone going down the street. He can't stand anybody on our street. 
So see how easy that came together? And this was just bits and pieces of stuff I had left over from my hidden paper clip kit. So I'm gonna show you the other five that I've done. This one, I used the um, pansies and it, it was really hard to decorate with these because there wasn't any room to put something on them. So anytime I could figure out a way, I did. I'm like this one, I didn't. I just kind of tucked things in around it. But this one, um, I decided to layer with some lace here and then uh, uh, have a little one of the papers here behind in this corner. Okay, the next thing I did was I wanted to use this larger uh, pansy uh, flower, but it was too big and I wanted something to come out in this little spot. So I just sliced it. And so part of this is underneath there and part of it's on top. Well, then I could see the slice. So I took another one of the bunches of pansies and cut it, cut it up. I cut a pansy off of there and put it in that spot um, so it kind of looks layered there. And over here, I just used some uh, cheesecloth and the rest of that pansy, or part of that pansy uh, bouquet and a little bow. And then I put our lace at the top and bottom and I used the last little piece of the pansy, um, like this piece right here, on the top up here. And I can't touch this because I just did the um, stickles and it takes a, at least an hour for it to dry. So this is ready to go in our Rolodex and I'll be able to show you the others in the Rolodex because I don't have wet stickles on them. So, okay, here's the next one here. Um, and the scripture here kind of on the right hand side over some cheesecloth and I made a little ruffle out of a piece of lace just by putting down some hot glue and then squishing it and putting it on there. This is the little daisy off of some lace I have and our butterfly circle. And over here, I took another one of those pockets that I didn't use and I just ripped out the paper and tucked it in under there. With this bouquet of roses here, I made a pocket I laid it on here and I let this come up over the edge a little, which I tried to do when I could. And I made it into a pocket. So it has two of the little cards inside there and our butterfly. And then I used stickles on the whole thing. Again, I've done it so that I could cut across the bottom and use it as a pocket, or it could stay just like this and put some lace or something to cover that. But this will fit right in our Rolodex. And we can have several of these that just flip forward and we can see the rest of them. And these are the ABCs. I'm gonna take that out of there so I have room to expand my paper pieces that go in there. That'll just look nice on my desk and I could use them as I see fit. Okay, here's another one I did, and uh, let's see. I tucked some lace in under here. Uh, I ripped one of the paper pockets again, that's the green. Everything is inked around the edges. This is our little bird cage, like I used on the other one, only I ripped part of it off. Our scripture is laid on top of lace that's put on first. And then we have our, um, I layered the word inspire on top of one of the little papers that have the like newsprint and a bow. And then when I got all done, I uh, made it sparkle with some sequins. I tried to make each one totally different. Uh, and that's a fun thing to do because you don't have it planned. You just, um, Kind of pick out your little pieces and kind of lay them on there how you want it and reach over and grab some lace and stuff and uh, it comes together. There's no right or wrong way uh, to do a collage like this. It's just what pleases your eye. This will be beautiful in a journal. I can cut this off and make a beautiful pocket out of it. I 
Now this one, I decided to use the daisies. I prefer the roses for whatever reason, but I decided to use the daisies. And I put a, a piece of lace, cotton lace across the top before I started. And a piece of cheesecloth down here just so we have some nice layers, cheesecloth over here, just little pieces. And in behind the scripture, I put this paper that came in the kit and I cut one of the little circles in half, made kind of a little tab at the top. Then I glued down my scripture and decorated this cheesecloth side with the butterfly and one of the tiny little papers. Uh, this daisy I made into pockets. Did I make it into pocket? No, I glued those down. I just tucked them in under there and glued them down. I could have made a pocket, but I didn't. And then I accented this one with pearls. Okay, here's the last one. Okay, this has a piece of lace all the way across before I started. It's about, see how wide it is? And of course, you cover a lot of that stuff up. I believe this is still wet, too. No, it's not. Um, you cover a lot of it up, but it makes a beautiful collage. And you can see just little pieces of lace peeking out here and there. And I also have the cotton lace across the top, which make kind of a ruffle across the top. Then I put down my card with the violin and layered on the uh, card in the center that has the scripture with a little butterfly tab at the top. I used the bouquet of roses down here in this corner and the butterfly. I always glue the butterflies down just in the center. Okay, and I ended up doing some stickles on the butterfly and all around here. And then this is a piece of a trim that is just a row of kind of iridescent uh, sequins. And I cut that and glued it on there. And then I tied a green bow made from the recycled silk. I haven't used the recycled silk in a while and I have a lot of that around. And this kept getting in the way, so I actually glued it to the back of this little butterfly here, so it'd stay put. So these are my six um, Rolodex cards. And those two are wet, so I'll, I'll bring them down here in front so you can see them. And then I have this one that's actually, that I actually put over there in the Rolodex. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and have, uh, maybe it gave you an idea. Uh, I just thought the Rolodex thing was a great fun thing. And you know, they made the ones with the, that were in a circle. This is what I found on Amazon. And there's lots of nice cards in here. So I can uh, make some and use some and put some more in here however I want to do it. But it's very simple to trace around one of these and cover the front of it, and then you have your surface for a beautiful collage. So um, I want to thank Stephanie at um, My Porch Prints for creating this beautiful design and um, the freebie of the scriptures. You can I had people ask me where to get those. You go to her Facebook page and join the My Porch Prints Facebook page, and then it is in the files. It's about the third or fourth one down in the in her free files. So uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, the next up is a Christmas journal. It's going to be pink. And it's a designer that I don't think I've used before. So I think you will enjoy uh, seeing how I put that together. And I'll do kind of an introductory video once I figure out. I have everything printed, but I have to figure out how I'm going to lay out the journal. And then, um, and then what else I might want to make from that kit and get that all planned in my head. And then I'll do an introductory video so you'll know what I'm going to be doing. And you can go take a look at the kit. So thanks for joining me today. I enjoyed doing these projects for you. 
and uh, I will gradually give these away to my friends or use them in journals. And I just, I guess I just love to make things and they're just all around me here. But I've given away somewhere around 30 journals um, since I started making these. It's been um, a little soon be three years. Uh, but I've given away 30 and I still probably have 15 or 20 uh, projects that are large enough that would make a nice gift. So I need to take a look at those for Christmas and uh, see who I might want to uh, give these beautiful things to. So uh, have a good day and I'll be back before you know it. I'll see you soon.